Hi, welcome. I'm going to check and see who made it. No one, no one yet. Welcome. Welcome to my studio. Hi, my name is Kelly and this is Maxwell. Maxwell, it's time to do relax. Yes, you always relax with your chicken. All right, so let's get started with restorative yoga. We're gonna do a few poses and take care of the hamstrings, the hips, the lower back. We're gonna come up to the wall. If you have, don't have a, a wall that is clear to put your legs up, you can also close a door and put your legs up the back of the door, right? Make sure it's closed <laughs> and can't open. So let's get started with a little bit of movement and then we'll restore in some poses where we hold for a longer period of time. Get a bolster, get a blanket, and a strap. We're gonna use a strap. So if you don't have a yoga strap, get a belt or a bathrobe sash. How about that? That would work well. All right, so let's start on our back. It's called supine position. So get comfortable. Wear something warm so you're not distracted. And once you lie down, bring your arms to your sides and turn your palms up and let your knees come in. So bending your knees. And breathe. Inhaling. And exhaling. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Do that again, breathe in and breathe out. Bring your right knee into your chest, hug that leg in and set your foot down, bring the left knee in and hug that leg in, feel the lower back press into the floor and then change sides, bring the knee in and then extend your leg out the left leg out straight so right leg in bring it in rotate your foot a few times and then the other way good now extend out the right leg bring your left knee in Pull it in, rotate your foot. Extend that leg out straight. Inhale, reach your arms up, stretch from end to end. Place your feet on the floor and then bring the knees into your chest. Hug both legs in, bring the knees to your chest and rock from side to side. A little rocking movement, right and left. Now look at your knees, pick your, your shoulder blades up off the floor and grab your legs, coming into a tight ball, breathe in, exhale it out. Extend the left leg out, keep your right knee in. Knee across the body to the left. Extend your right arm over to the right. Get your shoulders even on the floor and place your foot on the floor over there on the side. Maybe your heel, if you can bring the heel all the way down. Even up your shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Really lengthen that arm and use your left hand and just add a little bit of weight on the outside of your knee. Turn your chin towards your shoulder. Then lift up, rotate, 
at the hip joint. So use your right hand to assist your leg going around in a circle. Rotating at the hip joint. Extend out your right leg, bring your left knee into your chest. Hug that leg in, breathe in. Extend the left arm over to the left and then bring this knee across to the right. Place your foot on the floor, maybe your heel on the floor, but even up your shoulders. Look over to the left. A Little bit of weight on the outside of your knee. And relax, relax your shoulders and hips. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling. Take another deep breath in and exhale. Lift your leg up and as you settle your lower back onto the floor, rotate at the hip joint, assisting that motion with the hand, guiding the leg, making that circular motion in the hip joint. Extend the legs out straight both and reach your arms overhead, inhale, end to end, and then bring your right knee into your chest again. Pull it in, extend your leg up. You can keep a slight bend in your knee, not using the strap right now, just have your hand behind the hamstring and breathe in. Try to reach up and grab your foot with your knee bent. Foot flat, toes pointing towards your shin, flexing your foot. Use your left hand and press the left knee down or left thigh down. Inhaling and exhaling. You can close your eyes or keep them open. Then let your foot go. Extend that leg out and bring the left knee in right here. And point your foot Flex your foot, reach up the inside of your leg. Half happy baby, or call it supine lunge position. Position of what you would be if you were in a lunge, right? So this foot flexing towards the shin. You can bring your opposite arm out or place your hand on the thigh and push that leg down. Take a deep breath in, exhale, extend the leg straight on the floor. Again, reach over head and stretch your legs out, reaching from end to end. Good job, place your feet on the floor, knees point up, and then arms to your sides, rock your knees side to side. Hold the knees over to the right, lift up your right ankle, place it on the outside of your left knee. Even up your shoulders on the floor, turn your head to the left. Breathe in, breathe out. Pull your lower back towards the mat. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift your legs. And you can keep your ankle on your knee. Figure four stretch, lower back on the floor. Lift the left foot up, reach your hands around the hamstring. Pull the legs in, lower back, press the knee away. And you can flex your foot right here and rotate the opposite foot. and then rotate the other way. A 
Good. Now, place your right foot on the floor, left foot on the floor. Tip the knees left and right. And then hold the knees over to the left. Arms to the sides. Pick up your left ankle or left foot. Place your left ankle on the outside of the right knee. Pull your back towards the floor. Turn your head the opposite direction of your knees. Good. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, lift your knees. Keep that ankle on your knee. Lift your right foot up. Hands go through and around the hamstring. Pull the leg in, flex your foot, and then rotate the right. Rotate the other way. Place your feet on the floor, arms to your sides. Tip the knees side to side four times. Extend the legs out straight, reach the arms overhead. Inhale, breathe. Reach from end to end. And then roll over onto your stomach, all the way over. Place your arms on the mat and turn your head to the, le to the left. Now bend your left knee out to the left side. Half frog pose. Pick your head up and turn your head the opposite direction of your knees, of your, of your knee, one knee. Temple on the floor if possible. Other option to put your head on your hand or your forearm. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another deep breath in. Exhale that out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax the shoulders. Relax the hips. Now extend that leg straight again. Put your forehead down. And then let's change sides. So half frog on the other side. First turn your head to the right. Bring your knee to the right, to the side. 90 degrees. Then pick your head up and turn your head the opposite direction of your knee. Breathe. Relax the shoulders. Relax the hips. Lower back. Close your eyes. Lift your head up and look down. Extend the leg out straight. Reach the legs. Come up onto your forearms. Palms flat. Press into the fingertips. Sphinx pose. Look forward. Pull your navel or your belly button off the mat. Press the tops of your feet into the floor and breathe. Deeply breathe. Breathe out. Looking forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let your head kind of drape forward but still press into 
Keep pressing into the forearms. Stretch the back of the neck between the blades. Keep pressing into your forearms. Now we're going to press into the forearms and come into child's pose. So lift up your hips, scoot your knees up underneath you, bring your big toes together, send your hips back, reaching your arms. If you have a bolster or a pillow, grab your pillow or bolster and place that right between your knees like that. So snug and then reach your chest over and turn your head. and relax. Palms flat on the floor. Your forearms are on the mat, just relaxing, resting. Lower back stretch, spreading the blades apart with the arms on either side. Now turn your head the other way, opposite direction. Open your eyes and lift up. Walk your hands in towards your knees. Move the bolster to the side. Now bring the mat. Now it's time for coming up the wall. So let's bring the mat end up to the wall like this. Yeah. Now. Place your blanket, that, that height, to the baseboard. So your hips are going to come up here. Move away from the baseboard if you've got really tight hamstrings. You can test this out. Lower down and then put your legs up. So your hips, you want them to be a little bit higher than your shoulders and your legs up the wall. So all the fluid drains from your legs down into the pelvis, into the body, all the way up to your head. Legs up, breathe. There are three things that you would not, if you have them, you would not do this pose. I'll say them very quickly. High blood pressure, glaucoma, or if you have a hernia, then you would just put your feet on the floor and knees up right here. Otherwise, legs up and bring your arms to the sides with your palms facing up. And you can let your feet turn out at their natural angle. You don't have to hold tension in the legs right here. So being supported by the wall. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend your knees out to the sides, put your feet together. Bring the heels close to the groin and 
or towards the groin. Press the knees away from you. Keep the feet together. Then use your hands, prop up underneath the thighs right here. And relax the shoulders. Bring your legs together, hug the legs in. Extend the left leg up straight, so heel is on the wall, and then reach the left, the right leg up and reach behind the hamstring and pull that leg in towards you with your left heel on the wall, pulling the right leg towards you. Maybe you can reach up a little higher Hamstring stretch. So let your foot go at a natural angle. Bring your hands down to your hamstring again. And now with your fingers, knead the muscle or massage the muscle, the hamstring. All the way down and then all the way up. And then go behind the knee and make a circle behind the knee with the fingertips. Circle the other way. And then grab the calf and squeeze, grab the calf and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Notice what happens when you squeeze the calf. <laughs> it makes your foot move. And then let that go. Other side. So first hold. Hamstring stretch, reach up. Reach your hands behind your hamstring and fingers pressing into the hamstring. Reach behind the knee and make a circle. Go the other way. Reach up and grab your calf. Squeeze. Upper part of the calf, belly of the calf, and then lowering towards the ankle. Squeeze, squeeze. Do it again, move all the way up, and then down. Good, now let's do this again. Place your feet together, hands on the outside of your thighs, and relax for a moment. Five breaths. Close your eyes. Relax the shoulders down.
Bring your legs together and shimmy away from the wall. Move the blanket to the side and you can place it, place it on the left and walk your feet over on the wall so your knees rest on the blanket and then reach your right arm over to the right. Looking over to the right, rest your legs one on top of the other. Start to walk your feet up and go ahead and grab the blanket and place it on the other side. Walk your feet over to the other side and let your legs rest one on top of the other. Reach your arms out like a T. Back your head on the floor comfortably or turn your head to the left. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling, exhaling. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift your head, or turn your head up, and then walk your feet up. Place your right ankle on your left knee. Press this knee away. Use your, press your left hand into the left thigh, so push it down. Just get a good stretch in your, your hip, the IT band right there. Press that knee away. You don't have to worry about your feet. Don't flex. Just have that one foot on the wall and one foot, one ankle on knee. Relax the shoulders. And now change sides. Left ankle on right knee. Press that knee away. Hand right at the thigh, the top of the thigh. Push towards the wall. And then kind of relax the shoulders. You can let up on that resistance. And just hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhaling. Exhaling. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And now rock your knees over to one side and we're gonna come onto your hands and your knees. Place the blanket underneath your knees, right here. Come up onto your knees onto the blanket, but move the blanket close enough to the wall that you can have your knees on the blanket and then your foot, one foot. So move it in enough that you can get your knees there comfortably and have your right foot and left foot on the wall. Hands on the mat. Lower down your belly towards the floor. Cow pose and cat pose. Look behind you. Cow pose <laughs> and cat pose. Keep your heels on the baseboard. Cow pose and cat pose. Lower down again, and then exhale as you lift up. Neutral spine, 
Grab your pillow. Place a pillow on the mat. Bring your right foot forward. Keep your left foot on the baseboard. Shift your hips forward. So fill the baseboard back there with your foot. And you can have your toes touching the floor or tucked under. All right, hands on the inside or put one, one form on your thigh. Then drape your body over the forward leg. So holding right here, stretching the hip flexors on the left side, knee over ankle in the front, breathe in, breathe out. So you are resting your body on top of that forward leg, kind of draping the head forward. Take another deep breath in. Exhale. Now shift back, hamstring stretch. Keep your foot on the baseboard, flex your foot. Don't sit on the hill back there. Just keep the hip up over the knee. Just for a moment, hand on the floor or block if you have a block. I didn't get my blocks today. Good. Now slide that foot in. Turn sideways. Reach your arm back. Walk your hand up. So your body's to the side of the wall. And you're going to walk your hand up. So your hand is back behind you. Your arm is the height of your shoulder or the hand. Stretching the front of the shoulder, the, sh the front of the arm, the inside of the arm. Drop the shoulder down though. Key point. Walk your hand up a little bit higher. Keep the arms straight. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hand up higher. All the way up and over. And now let's stretch the other hip flexor. Move the pillow over to the other side. Feet on the baseboard back there. Shift, bring your left foot forward, shift your hips right here. Hand on the pillow. Just stay here for a minute. Set up. Hands on the inside or right here on the thigh. And then drape your body over the forward leg. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms. Breathe, hip flexors on that right side. Breathe in, breathe out. Deeply breathe in, breathe out. Walk your hands back and flex your foot. Hamstring stretch, five breaths. Press your heel down, abs in. Pull your toes in, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Deeply breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, lift up. Put your knee on the mat or on the blanket and turn. Hand walks up so that and scoot in towards the, towards the wall so that you stretch the shoulder. The front of the shoulder, 
inside of the arm. Bring your hand to your hip. And look forward, chin neutral, right here. Pull your head back. Standing in your, in your, on your knees are your shins. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax the shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now walk your hand up. All the way up, 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 up. All the way over. Relax the shoulders. All right, so let's come to lie down on your mat. Move that. Move this. Move away from the wall. So your head is going to come onto your blanket. Grab your strap. Bring your pillow, your bolster, on one side, like that. So set your props up. Snug the blanket underneath your neck, supporting the neck. Head on the floor. Place the strap around your, the ball of your right foot. Reach up high. And let the weight of your arms pull your leg in towards you. Breathe. Breathe out. Go ahead and extend the left leg out along the floor and just let it hang out there. Hip flexors on the left side, hamstring on the right side. Close your eyes. Grab the strap with your right hand. Extend the left arm out to the left. Now lower your leg to the side, to the right. Turn your gaze to the left. Breathe in, breathe out. With the leg long, straight, lift up. Now we're just gonna keep going all the way over to the other side. Reach your right arm over to the right and look over to the, to the right. Center your shoulders on the mat, so even them up and maybe you can bring your foot to the floor on the other side. Shoulders even. Breathe in. Come here. Come here. Begin to lift your leg up. All the way. Now let's change sides. Left foot up in the strap. Extend the right leg out straight. Reach up. As high as you can, and then let the weight of the arms pull your leg in towards you. Close your eyes. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck, the hip. Grab the strap with your left hand. Leg lowers over to the left. Reach the right arm over to the right. Turn your toes down, heel up, and look over to the right. So press the right leg down to the floor and then kind of release, let go.
Start to lift the leg. Inhale, lift up, 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 up. And now we're gonna bring the leg across the other side. As you do that, get your shoulders even on the floor and look over to the other side. Let your feet go, don't hold flexion, no stiffness, relax the shoulders, relax the hips. Then inhale and lift. Release the strap. And place your pillow so your knees can drape over or feet together. Lift your hips. So opening up the pelvis, the inner thigh muscles. Shavasana, arms to the sides. Feet together. Close your eyes. Rest the mind, rest the body. Relax into your breath. Visualize your breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Start to move your fingers and move your toes. Place the hands on the outside of your legs and bring your legs together. Bring the knees into your chest. Hug the legs in. Then feet up, reach the arms around the inside and fingers to the outside edges of your feet. Happy baby. And you can rock a little bit side to side. Waking up your body, ready to move on with your day. Or night. Depending on where you live, depending on whether or not you're watching the recording or live, please let me know. Good job. Now place your feet on the floor and you can slide the pillow away. Rock the knees over to one side and push up to a seated position and you can sit crossing your legs comfortably. Bring your hands to, get to your heart and bring the edge of the hands to the mind's eye and thanks and then gratitude. Edge of the hands to the heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Namaste. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next time. Have a good one. Bye.